Hi, and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is looking at Pano 2 VR version 5 and the transformation output. And whilst we're there, we're looking at the stereographic projection. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to make little planets. So this is what we're going to build. And so let's start from the start. I've got a equal rectangular image. I'm just going to drag and drop onto the dock icon to open up Pano 2 VR. I'm going to take the app into full screen mode and we're ready to begin. Right, so the first thing I need to do then is select transformation as my output. And if we select um, or click on the uh, transformation tab, you can see the settings. Now, as you can see, the projection type I can uh, change here. And we've got several different projections. We've got sphere, mirrorable, fisheye, and I'm gonna select stereographic. Okay, so once I've selected that, we've got our preview image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right button click on the preview and select detach. And then I'm going to right button click and then select stay on top. And with that done, I can just drag and make the image a little bit bigger. There we go. So it's easier to work with. Okay, cool. Right, so what I want to do then is, as I say, make this into a little planet. And it doesn't very much look like a little planet at the moment. So I'm going to deselect the, de the default view. And then with the field of view, I'm going to zoom out. That looks a little bit distorted and then what we're going to do is tilt down and as we tilt down you'll see that we're going to get this the the little planet view then what i'm going to use is the pan slider i'm going to slide it over and that rotates the image until i get whichever part of the image i want on top on top in this case it's the the tower okay what i prefer to do is use the tilt slider just to tilt forward slightly uh, to give me a, just a little bit of a different view and then we can come back on the zoom just to fill the window there we go so that's pretty much our little planet view now if i wanted to print this what i would do is i would set my image size so let's go for 5000 by 5000 here we go and then i would set my output um, format to say i don't know jpeg or tiff or whatever so i'm going to select jpeg once we've done that, then we can click the Generate Output button, and you can see Pano 2 VR chugs away and generates the output. And if we click this button, which is Open Output, then you'll see there is my little planet that we've just made. Okay, so that's ready for printing and job done. Right, now we've got these sliders, so what else can we do with them? Now, some people like the, the tunnel effect. So if I just go back to the slider, if we go to the Tilt slider, I can just move that over and you can see we can distort the image and then make the tunnel. And then if I wanted this larger building at the bottom, I would just move or slide the pan slider and just rotate the image. There you go. Right, so that's how to use the sliders. Um, as you see, we've got quite a few projections here that you can choose and then you can use the sliders to distort and change the view. So yeah, that's how to use the stereographic output and to create little planets. Thanks for watching.